Good morning all. Today is the day the Hagrid Motorbike Challenge starts right now. So I got in the queue at 7.45 and they opened the turnstiles at 8.41. Um, the crowd's already walking fast or running. Shouldn't be running, but at least some fast walking going on. The big question is going to be, will the ride open on time? Now I did try to do this yesterday, but I had to abort as it was a one hour delay at the beginning of the day. Hoping for a little better luck today. And one good sign is we don't have team members yelling Hagrid's is delayed at the moment so it looks like it will be opening on time. And I do have my three prong fanny pack on so no lockers needed today. And here is one of my favorite shots, one of the best views of Hogwarts right here, this view from the queue. So at 9.10, ride number one, I put little stickers on my hat, I don't know if you can see that, but the first ride of the day is complete at 9.10, I'm getting right back in, and uh, hopefully the single rider line will be open now, and that'll speed up my day. As I am in the queue for ride number two, the listed wait time is 1.50, 150 minutes, but like I said, I'm going to see if they have open single rider. So here's the view I'll be seeing all day. Lucky for me, it's one of the cooler days of fall, a high of only 78 today. Much better than trying to do this ride challenge on a day that's in the 90s. And we have just received our first delay warning. 926, that's when this delay occurred. I'm here with Drake, one of the awesome team members at Hagrid's. What's your over under for today? How many can I ride? Uh, I'm saying eight. Eight? Okay. Eight, maybe nine if you push it. Push it a little bit. A little help from you maybe? We do, we do close <laughs> line off at three o'clock. Just keep that in mind. Now, if the park's open a little later today, right? Normally uh, it's five, it's open until six today. We might we might be closing off maybe four if, if okay. we're lucky. But with right. long line stuff, we'd probably also be right. closing off around. Pull some strings, Drake. Uh, pull some strings. <laughs> Yeah, so Drake is one of those awesome team members here at Hagrid's. I actually met Drake when I was trying to do like a soft opening that they never had. So I met Drake then. And uh, you know, the most popular over under number is eight. But we'll see what we can do. We'll try to, I want double digits. We are currently experiencing an extended delay in today's ride. We apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your continued cooperation and patience. In the midst of this long delay, I should note, they do not have a bathroom in the queue. The bathroom is all the way in Hogsmeade, so if you're in here for an extended delay, quite the hike. They did not plan well for this, did they? Uh, well, guys, I have not completed my second turn yet. Two hours and 45 minutes into my second turn. Still not riding Hagrid's. Technically, I'm on a bathroom break, but look who I found. That's a good idea. Hey, Nick. Hi. You come to join me in my challenge? I did, I did, but I've also been sitting here for over an hour. So it's now noon. Yeah. Do you know how many rides I've gotten in so far? Oh, uh, one. I've gotten in one. I'm on my second one. On my back. I don't know if I'm going to go back. Maybe. You know what? You I'm so upset. Though. I want you some meat. <laughs> I'm so upset. I want to eat some meat. Comfort food. I do. Aww. I know it's not the weekend, but I might have to have some chicken or ribs or something. All right. Uh, so you want to eat? Yes. We'll go eat on my bathroom break because I don't know if they're going to get this right up again today. But let me eat and then we'll check back in and see what's happening with the ride challenge. So when we got done with lunch, the uh, extended delay was over. Yeah. So I, went, I threw my bathroom break, I went back to the beginning and um, I, we, I did my second turn. Yes, and I stood um, at the exit and I got you on camera, yeah. so on the so, ride. Yeah, so I'm sure as we're talking, I'm editing, I'm putting all that as we're talking, yeah. seeing me on the ride with Sydney, who's a viewer of ours, 
and it just yeah. worked out that I was the single writer that got to go with viewers. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's awesome. So How that was cool. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna go with me? Yes. Let's go. Let's, let's go. It. I gotta get back okay, in Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Single writer still. Yes. Time to switch the sticker on my hat. Time for number three. Okay, guys, it is now 1.30. I've completed my third turn. You've yes. done it once. Yes. I was in the front row that time. I saw. First time I've been in the front row. What do you think of it? I think for this ride, front row's the best. Ooh. It's that part where you go, go up the little thing. Yes. Yeah, because you're way up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. So, 1.30, shall I go for turn number four? Yeah, I'll go with you. All right. Let's do it again. Time to stick this number four onto my hat. Come on now, get a move on. We've got a real treat for you today. Great lesson coming up. Everyone here? Right. Follow the path. Single Rider was shut down for this turn. Could not get on Single Rider, so let's enjoy a few highlights of the queue. Number four for me. Yep. Number two for you. Yes. Bad timing with single rider. Yeah. The single rider line was not open for us when we went by it. No. So we had to go through the whole queue, and there was a lot of downtime as well. Oh my gosh. How long did it take? What time is it right now? It's like four o'clock. Yeah, like two and a half, three hours. Yeah. So, so yeah, you've had the full experience. Yeah, you got, you got your phone on you. No, you have it on. Oh. Let me check the time. It's four ten. Yeah, yeah, it was, it, I'm saying it was close to three hours. Yeah, because it was like 1.30, I think, when we yeah. lasted a recording there when we got off the other ride. Yeah. So, wow. Torture. Yeah. That was torture. Torture, it yeah. so bad. <laughs> oh my God. But I think I, ha I have time for one more ride. You're going to bail, aren't you? If I, we can get single riders. If we, right. If we can't, then yeah, I'm going to bail. There's no way I'm going to stand in line for 90 minutes. All right. So let's, let's go, go find out. Yeah. So here we go. Turn number five. Single rider line not open, but I'm gonna try a little trick. Let's see if it works. Okay, let's see if it does. <laughs> Ride number five is completed at 440. So yes. what was that, like 30 minutes? Yeah, yeah, maybe less. Maybe less. I learned a trick. I'll save that for the end. A good, good, good time-saving trick. <laughs> and now at 4.43 comes the number six sticker onto the hat. It's now 4.51. So it is 5.21. I just completed ride number six for today. Yes. Not bad considering I had that rough start in the morning, right? Oh yeah, well, and then you had a three hour delay in the middle of yeah, the day. Yeah, with you. With me. Uh, but let's get down here. I've got all kinds of things to tell you about. I've learned a lot of stuff. I want to share it with you. So I guess the first thing I want to talk about is that first big delay I had in the morning. Right. Um, after my first ride, which went uh, you know, really quickly, I got off that ride at like 9, 10. So that went quickly, but on my second turn, there was a small delay when I was in it, and then it shut down for, um, Dream Flight, which is some type of like a charitable organization, like for children. Children with disabilities or like special needs. Right. 
Um, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave their website and all that information with you, like in the description and maybe up on the screen here. So perhaps if you like, if you have a child with like a disability or a special need, I just learned about this organization. I didn't know about it. So maybe it's something you could look up and that could be beneficial to you. It looks like the kids were having a good time. Thank you. I, I don't mind losing a turn or two on this challenge to those kids. I think the next thing we need to explain would be when I was with you that one time we had the delays. It was delayed, but uh, I think we cost ourselves some time. Yes. Because um, single rider line wasn't open. And the single rider line is not open all the time. So that time we went through the actual, the whole queue, the actual, you know, everything, the pre-show, and plus there were some delays anyway, some breakdowns. Yes. So it was, ended up being over two and a half, almost three hours. Yeah, it was a long one. It, it was, was a it long was one. It was torture. <laughs> um, but that did allow us to learn something. Yeah. I tried a little trick. So when you get to where single rider splits off on the outside, mm -hmm. they will tell you if it's full, oh, we don't have single rider open right now. Right. So here's what I did. Um, when I got to uh, the mermaid, right before we go into the ruins, mm -hmm. I paused. And I said, you know what, I'm waiting for my party. Go ahead of me, go ahead of me. I let everyone go ahead of me. And we waited, what, like two minutes? Two minutes and then it opened. And then the team member was looking for single riders. Yep. And unfortunately, there was a girl like right with us. Right behind us Who in was line. a single rider. She wanted single rider. Yes. But she kept going. Yeah. So she was probably in that queue another hour longer than we were. Yeah, definitely. So my little trick is, if they're not accepting single riders right away, just stay in the queue, but when you get to that mermaid, right by the ruins, where you go into the ruins, yep. just pause and let people go ahead of you. <laughs> right now it's working. Uh, Universal may find out, whenever I give out good tips and tricks, they tend to like counteract them. It may not last very long. So <laughs> once this comes out in the open, they might, they might have a guard standing you know, there. I'm looking around. I'm like, hey, hey I'm, just I'm just waiting for my party. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> just keep it on the deal. Here's a Nick's trick for you. Okay, so you know how you can wear a fanny pack. It's a three prong fanny pack is what you can wear on that. So this is a tip for if you're waiting in the long line, mm -hmm. which I basically told you how to avoid that, but go ahead, go ahead. If you just happen to have to go, then, and you don't want to split your party up, uh, listen to Harry Potter books on Audible. So bring some headphones and then just sit back and listen to uh, the book on on Audible. Okay, okay, okay. As you're walking through uh, the, that, the castle. That's Nikki's trick. That's not bad. I have a better one than that. What? Watch Rich Flicks while you're in line. Oh, well, yeah, bring headphones for that too. Not quite at the end yet, guys. You're almost there, though. I want to remind you, click that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. Okay, let's wrap this up with some random thoughts. Okay, random thoughts. Here could, we go. Could be a new segment. Rick's random thoughts. I like it. What a long day for me. Yes. Um, especially since last night was Halloween and we went to Halloween Horror Nights for fun. <laughs> and we did a bunch of walking there. Woo. And then we did a bunch of standing to dinner. Yeah, oh my goodness. Uh, uh, but here's some thoughts. Um, Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure. The best theme park ride. Hands down. Absolutely. <laughs> The worst experience, though. Absolutely. If and you're standing in line for three hours. With those breakdowns, oh, it's torture in those oh. little tunnels and everything. Yes. Oh, but people are brave. They stick through. They do. They persevere. <laughs> oh, they're riding Hagrid's whether it kills them or not. <laughs> oh, my God. About the two, three hour mark, I see a lot of them fade away, though. Yeah. <laughs> but then you're like, two hours. I've invested two hours. The minute I leave, it's going to open up. Yeah. And that it... It did happen to somebody. It did happen to a yeah. family of like four. Yeah. They just went out to like some side yeah. exit and they're like, okay, it's up and running again. So, best ride, worst experience. In terms of standing in line yeah. and waiting for it. But now, if you can use some of these little tricks, one thing is to get her early. Yes. Like I was here, I, I when I did the, I can't remember, I can't remember, but it's on the video. I mentioned it when it happened live. Well, I think I got here at eight. And, or in line at 8.15 and the line open at 8.45 and whatever. It's all documented. But get her <laughs> early because I was off that first ride at 9.10. That was fast. Off the ride. Now ride number quick. <laughs> ride two didn't go so high. No. Uh, but number one tip, get her early. And then for single riders, just, you know, if it's not open right away, just hang out by that mermaid. Say, oh, I'm waiting for my party. You guys go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And eventually, within 
within 10 minutes, I'm sure, they'll be opened up that single rider line again. Yeah, it was ironic. It was like two minutes. He's like, okay, let me just time this. And we're like, whoop, there they go. Because the last two we did today, yes, we did those quick. Yes, mm -hmm. speedy quick. We did more in those two minutes, or those the afternoon oh, yeah. time than we did the entire oh, rest yeah. of the day. It was crazy. It was. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is, I was supposed to be answering your guys' questions in this video. I know, I asked him halfway through, I'm like, so how are the questions going? And he's like, uh, whoops. I promise you, I will answer your questions. I'll, I, you know what, I'll probably do like a walk and talk video where I answer your questions later on. So, for your, those of you who didn't send me a question, send me a question. Look in the description, there'll be a link, fill out the form, ask me anything. How many yellow shirts do I have? What's my favorite theme park? What'd I go to, where would I go to college? I get questions like that. I'll answer that in a future video. Right. And as always, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks, and now, time to relax. I'd like to take a moment and thank those viewers who have visited my coffee page and bought me a cup of coffee or a butter beer recently. First up, we have the Williams family from Rochester. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. And here's a thank you to longtime viewers of the channel, Pat and Allie. They're getting ready for their Disney trip. We hope to see you there, guys. And here's a coconut smile to Steph and Stu McLaughlin. They'll be visiting Universal next week. Maybe you'll see us there, guys. Big guy, yellow shirt. It's hard to miss me. Thank you so much to Joe Allen for supporting the channel with a coffee. Joe will be visiting Florida this year. He's going to be bringing his grandkids. Have a good time, guys. Two more friends of the channel, Coral and Duffy. They'll be visiting Universal. They want to know about the press pennies. That is on my to-do list. That is just so overwhelming. I don't think I'll be able to get it done before your visit, guys. And here's a thank you to longtime supporter Larry Gans. Thank you so much for the coffee, Larry. And lastly for today, thank you so much to Jennifer and her two boys, Vincent and Anthony. They'll be visiting Universal soon and they're painting rocks. Maybe Nikki will paint some too. You just never know. You gotta keep an eye out on the Facebook group, UO Rocks, see what she's doing.